Representing the Webb County Sheriff, the Honorable Martin Cuellar, we have Assistant Chief Julio Gonzalez and Chief Alex. Thank you and good morning everyone. Dr. Victor Trevino, Mayor for the City of Laredo. I would like to start off by saying that I'm, a, I'm proud to live here in Laredo with state, federal, and binational law enforcement. Good morning. Um, a lot of the, uh, the conversations uh, that uh, have been going around about this law uh, has been uh, for quite a while. Uh, we've had uh, several comments. The mayor of this great Texas border community. And as Laredoans, only we know. I can tell you that this law is not about us going out there and doing roundups. This law is not about us going out there and asking for papers and immigration status. This is not about that. This law is, is very clear that whenever we can apply it is through a lawful detention or an arrest. And, and let me be very clear that this is the reason why we've, uh, we've already talked to our, our local partners and making sure that we standardize our training, that we're not doing things differently, that we make sure that when we're training our officers is the same training that our deputy uh, sheriffs are getting trained at, that our constables are getting trained at. Very important that we train and train and train because we want to avoid the racial profiling part of this law, that it, 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 it lends itself for that. But again, racial profiling, it, it, it's a law that is not only a violation in Texas, it's a violation in the entire United States. We cannot, we cannot do that. It is very important that we don't do that. So very important that we continue to focus on training and we already have the curriculum at PD. We've already shared that curriculum with the Sheriff's Department and we are already ready to train our officers on this uh, new law. Last night I got a call uh, from a friend and asked, hey, my mom is here on a traveling visa, is not here on a working visa. Am I gonna get stopped? Again, I don't even know the difference, right? Uh, we're not immigration officers. We need to understand that. And our officers need to understand that, that we need that training because there's a lot of things that happen through an immigration status that we as officers have never dealt with. And again, it is, for us, it is very easy to apply this law because we already have the mechanism in place. And I'll give you an example. Somebody gets stopped for a DWI, person does not, is not here illegally, what happens? We arrest them, we take them to jail, the Sheriff's Department finds out that the person is not from here, what do they do? They call Customs, they call Border Patrol. Are things gonna change? No. The only difference is now, it gives us the authority to make sure that if you're here illegally, it gives us the authority to add that, that charge to you if we need to, to, to add it. 